Okay, this is my response to Douglas Ford's uh, video on this leaked bike clean plan, you know, bike infrastructure plan that he wants to eliminate off of main streets and shove us all on the side streets. His car brain is showing and his lack of education in that regard is also showing with his shitty. If he only biked more and biked on every street, he would know exactly what the fuck we had to put up with on a daily fucking basis. Okay, here we go. I will pause it while I listen to it to avoid having to edit this fucking video. You want to get traffic moving, huh? Well, reducing car dependency is the first thing you want to do. The second thing you want to do is to eliminate gridlock by, again, reducing car dependency. And another way of doing that is improving bike infrastructure, access to bikes, which obviously most places you can, and public transit. That's another thing you want to improve. Continuing on. Bollocks. Cars do not move quickly if stuck in gridlock. Yes. And I will say this. One car, the average size car, takes up the space of six to nine bicycles or 10 to 35 people. Uh, there's only bike infrastructure in the middle of the road on Regional Road 7 crossing the 400. Yes, it's a rather trivial thing they did, but that's the only road that's got them right in the dang middle. Oh wait, Mexico City has it right in the middle too. I've been there. Probably a lot's changed since 20, you know, 2010 or 2011. Continuing on. Uh, again, as you just made another mistake, they did not put the infrastructure in the middle of the fucking road on University Avenue or Bluer or Young, north of Bluer. No, they have not done it. It's on the side of the street, the very right, right next to the curve, you know, right next to the sidewalk, not in the middle. Uh, side streets do not go everywhere. They cannot get you, for example, if I want to go to Jane and Finch or Steele's or to Vaughn by bike, the side streets are not going to get me there, period. There's no one direct connection straight up. There's no direct connection on side streets straight up. That is, and very few of them are traffic controlled. What part of that don't you get? And one car takes up the space of six to nine riding bicycles. You realize the cars are the source of the congestion, right? And making us force this all on side streets, that's not going to help because most businesses, malls, you know, every business, restaurants, whatever, they are on main streets. Only maybe a very few handful, yes, a fucking handful, are on side streets. And yeah. Most of them are on main streets. That's where we go. Taking away all right to safe passage. Because of the amount of shit that we got to deal with on a daily basis. It's not the right way to go about this. Continuing on. Uh, no, you don't, Douglas. You don't bike in the city on a daily basis. You don't have to put up with the same shit. That we have to put up on a daily fucking basis. Yes, getting honked at, getting closed past, getting threatened, having shit thrown at us from cars, intentionally, possibly getting run off the road by impaired or aggressive motorists that think they have the so called right to drive. Driving is a fucking privilege, and it never ever will be a right. Continuing on. Okay, okay, okay. You're missing the point there. Okay? Let's just see here. Again, University Avenue. I bike up and down that road. Has two and three lanes for vehicles and first responders. Yes, ambulances. 
police or fire. Three lanes, maybe two at most, going literally from Avenue, or sorry, uh, from Davenport, right to where the lanes pretty much end at Wellington. Yeah, get your facts straight. Use a bike, ride up and down the university from Davenport to Wellington, and you will notice there's two to three lanes at all times. At all fucking times. And, no, businesses on Bluer are not fucking struggling to so-called survive. No, they're not struggling. However, the ones that are dependent on fucking cars and drivers to survive, nah, 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 they're doing it wrong. Those ones are literally bound to tank. Yes, tank. They're going to end up going out of business because their dependency on cars is not going to give them enough revenue because what do you think people do in cars? They drive right by the business. They're not likely to stop by and go in because they got to find a place to park. That vehicle that clutters up and clogs the road. Yes, bikes don't clog roads. Again, as I said, you can fit six to nine riding bicycles in the same spot of a car. Yeah, that's a lot of room that cars are taking up and clogging up roads. Oh, and you're saying first responders can't get through? That's full of shit. That's bollocks. Bullshit. You know what I'm talking about. They can get through just fine. It's these shithead motorists, yes, shithead motorists, that don't give them the right of way. I've seen it. I've witnessed it myself. Literally blocking the ambulance from going past the sound of the sirens. Fire department literally had to ram this one vehicle. Nice Porsche. Ram it out of the way to get through. Because, yeah, they had to get to a fire. A fire that I'd seen. They ran the Porsche out of the way. Oh, boo-hoo for the insurance. They had to get out of the way because it was illegally parked this way on Bluer Street. They rammed it out of the way properly into the parking spot. And the guy fucker wasn't even in the vehicle, too. He came running out of the restaurant with his takeout bag screaming. I laughed my ass off seeing that. And I says, what the fuck do you expect? There's a fire right over there. And the guy was more concerned about his car than the actual paramedics. And, yeah, the fire department getting to the fire, which they actually did, and they put it out. So, yeah. First responders, police and ambulance had no problem getting through on Bluer Street and Avenue, much as any other road that has bike infrastructure. That provides the right to safe passage. Yeah. What part of that does Doug not get at all? He is only going to make it unsafe for public, sorry, he's only going to make it far more unsafe for vulnerable road users that got to deal with this shit on a daily basis. And, yeah, remind you, I'm going to say it again, being threatened, intimidated, harassed, chased, have things thrown at them. Yeah, it's shitty, it's horrible. What we got to deal with, all the shit we got to put up on a daily fucking basis. You know? No one should have to deal with that. On a bike. Because it is your right to ride. We have the right to ride, wheel, roll, and walk. Those rights, those charter protected rights will never be taken away from us. And if you think you can license walking or wheelchairs, you are a fucking ableist. Okay, these are my thoughts. I'll have to do some minimal editing, but then again, you've already seen the fantastic effects I can use, but whatever. Thank you for watching. If you don't like this video, if you're too car brain to use a bike, well, that's not my problem. Driving is a privilege, not a right. And it appears right in the first page of the driver's handbook. You know who makes that handbook up? The Ministry of Transportation. Yes, they also set the rules for the Highway Traffic Act. Not motorists.